In the month of August, I made 1,075 Rand and my wife made 826 Rand from the FNB eBox Rewards program, bringing my total eBox balance for the year to 5,299 Rand and my wife's to 2,244 Rand. And in today's video, I will show you guys exactly how we did this and how you can do the same. eBox is the rewards program that FNB offers to its customers. It is one of the most advanced, innovative and intuitive rewards programs in the world, being ranked first for its use of technology. And FNB as a bank is also a leading pioneer in the finance industry by recently winning the awards for being both the best consumer digital bank in South Africa, as well as having the best banking app in Africa. Ebox has been around for over 20 years and has paid out a whopping 17 billion rand in rewards to both FNB and RMB private bank customers since its inception in the year 2000. So as you can see, this is a force to be reckoned with. And although the rewards are plentiful, you will first need to understand how exactly the Ebox system works so that you can play their game strategically and milk the system dry just like us. Right, so the eBox rewards are available for the FNB Easy, Aspire, Premier, Private Lines, Private Wealth, and RMB Private Bank accounts. But after doing extensive research, I found that the FNB Premier accounts are the most cost effective account to use to gain the most benefits. The Easy and Aspire accounts are a bit cheaper, but your rewards are also much, much lower. And subsequently, the private clients, private wealth and RMB private bank accounts do offer slightly more rewards, but they are also much, much more expensive. So for the purpose of this video, I will only be focusing on the FNB premium account, which my wife and I both have. The eBox reward system consists out of five levels, with level five providing you with the most amount of benefits. You need to perform certain tasks every single month in order to accumulate points and these points will then determine which level you are and subsequently how many rewards you will receive. The rewards range from cashback on purchases to discounts on FNB products, vouchers at different retailers and many many other perks that I explain in this video. Now in order to qualify for eBucks, you need to make sure that your FNB account is active and in good standing, which basically just mean using it consistently every month and making sure that you are not in arrears or in an overdraft. If you want to reach level five of eBox, you need to accumulate more than 14,000 points every single month. Now, this has become increasingly more difficult to reach every year. And in my experience, FNB can sometimes change the way that they interpret the different categories, thereby causing you to drop down a level for no good reason, even though you've been doing the exact same thing you've been done every single month. And there's no point in arguing with the Ebox team when this happens. Trust me, I've tried. So it is therefore better to aim to get at least 15,000 points in order to have some wiggle room in case you get blindsided with one of the categories like I have been twice in the past. <laughs> now you can see the different categories and points you can earn on both the desktop version as well as the mobile app. But because you will most probably use your phone most of the time, I will just focus on the app version. So first off, click on the three stripe menu in the top left corner, scroll down and click on the eBox tab click on earn and then on track my rewards. You will see that there are 10 different categories, each one with its own available amount of points, which if we add all of them together, totals 49,000 potential points to earn. That is quite a lot. So reaching 14,000 points should not be that hard, right? Well, it's more difficult than you might think. Now you can go and read through each section in your own time, but in order to save some time in this video, I'm just going to focus on those whom I use and who I also believe anyone else will likely also use without needing to take out unnecessary products from FNB. Alrighty, so let's start. In the income deposits category, you simply need to have either a minimum monthly deposit into your FNB premium account of at least 13,500 Rand or do at least 
10 debit transactions per month in order to earn 2000 points. Inter account transfers do not count and FNB is not really clear on what exactly they classify as debit transactions, but I would assume that it is just normal debit orders or EFT payments made from your FNB Premier Check account. In the digital banking category, you have six subcategories to earn points from. The first one is the Money Smart Budget subcategory, where you can earn 1000 points by simply setting up at least three smart budget categories and accessing your smart budget every single month. In order to do this, click on the menu button, scroll down to the Navigation Live tab, click on Nav Money and then on Smart Budget. You will then likely see three tabs, in my budget, not in my budget and uncategorized. Simply go into the not in my budget category, click on any item, then on set limit and enter the limit amount of your choice. The idea behind the smart budget is to help people to better manage their money by setting limits on the amounts that they want to spend on different categories. As a guide, you can see what the average spend is on each category and then budget accordingly. But if you just want to do this for the e-bucks points, like I do, then just enter an amount that is far more than your average spend. Otherwise, you might get some annoying alerts every time when you overspend on a certain item. You need to set a budget for at least three items, but again, just to be safe, rather do it for 10 items. You don't have to reset these limits every single month, but you do need to access this smart budget category and click on three budget items in order to receive the 1000 points. In the next subcategory, nav money, smart budget and credit status, you will receive points based on how healthy your credit status with FNB is. You can check your credit status by clicking on the menu, scrolling to navigate live, clicking on the nav money and then on credit status. It will show you a bar starting at red, going into amber, light green and then dark green. Under the bar, you will see seven criteria for how this credit status is determined with a description of each that you can read in your own time. The better you manage your credit, the better your score will be and subsequently, the more points you will receive. So for amber status, you will receive 1000 points, for light green status, 1500 points and for dark green status, 2000 points. Just make sure you also access your smart budget category for that month, otherwise you will not get these points. Now, if you don't have a Fusion account with a credit limit or a credit card, you won't be able to get these or many other points for that matter. So, if you can manage credit responsibly, then I would highly recommend you take out a premier credit card so that you can earn these points and more importantly, to start building up a strong credit score and I explain in this video why this is such an important thing to do. Right, so in the next subcategory, FNB Pay, you can earn 1000 points for making at least two FNB Pay transactions using your virtual card by using the tap to pay scan to pay or partner wallet transactions which include Fitbit Pay, Garmin Pay, Samsung Pay and Apple Pay. In order to create a virtual card, click on menu, home, cards, add card and create virtual card. Select the account to which you want to link your virtual card and I would recommend selecting either your FNB Fusion account or FNB Premier Credit Card. Enter a nickname for your card like FNB Virtual Credit Card and then click on Submit. If you then want to pay using your virtual card, click on Menu, Home, Cards and then select your virtual card. You will see it will give your card number, expiration date and if you tap it, it will swing around and show you the three digit CVC number which changes every hour for security purposes. So click FNB Pay and then you can either choose Tap to Pay where you literally tap your phone against the card machine or Scan to Pay where you can scan a QR code to make a payment. I use both these functions and they work pretty well for most cases. If yours does not work, then you might need to change some settings in your phone in order to enable this function. So just do a quick Google search on how this can be done as each phone model is different. So yeah, that's an easy 1000 points that you can earn 
by just tapping your phone instead of your card when filling up your car or when buying groceries. In the next subcategory, view the track my rewards tab, you will get another 500 points just by visiting the tap my rewards tab, which we are currently on at least once every single month. In the transact via the FNB app, you can receive 2000 points by making at least six financial transactions per month via the FNB app, which includes lotto, powerball, prepaid purchases, and send money transactions, but it excludes FNB pay and virtual card transactions. Now this is a tricky category as FNB low balled me twice by not allocating these points, even though I made more than 15 transactions using the app. So after extensive testing, I realized that the best way to ensure that you qualify for these points, you need to make use of the prepaid purchases function, which you can access by clicking on the menu and then on buy. You can either buy airtime, data, minutes or SMSs on the FNB app from FNB, Telcom, MTN, Celsius or Vodacom, or you can buy prepaid electricity. You need to make at least six transactions. So an easy hack around this one is for example, if you spend 600 Rand per month on prepaid electricity, then don't buy the 600 Rand at once, but rather make six individual transactions of 100 Rand each. I know this creates much more of a hassle as you will now have to enter these long ass codes six different times into your prepaid meter. But if you want that juicy 1000 Rand per month cashbacks, then it is definitely worth spending an extra 10 minutes on this one. And then in the last subcategory, FNB Connect Sim Spend, you can earn between 500 and 1,500 points, depending on the amount that you spend on your FNB Connect Sim every single month. The FNB Connect Sim kind of piggybacks on the Celsi network, and you can easily get the Sim from any FNB branch. We bought our phone cash and are currently using this Sim, where we spend 205 rand every month for 100 minutes and two gigabytes of data with an extra 30 minutes, 30 SMSs and one gigabyte of data rewards from being level five on eBucks, which is more than enough for us. And we subsequently then also earn the 500 points from this category. Next up is the My Cards category. If you have a Fusion Premium account with a credit limit, you will automatically earn 1000 points. If you have a Premier check and credit card bundle, then you will still get that 1000 extra points, but you first need to authorize a monthly auto payment to your credit card. In order to do this, go to Menu, Accounts, click on FNB Premier Credit Card, Account Options, Maintain Auto Payment, and then click on Maintain. Enter account from which you want to make the payment from, which should be your FNB Premier check account. Set the salary payday and then the payment type. Click on continue, accept the declaration and click on confirm. It goes without saying, but make sure you have enough funds in your check account available when the payment goes off so that the payment do not bounce as this will lead to unnecessary extra banking fees. Next up is the streaming and online platforms subcategory. If you use your virtual credit card to pay for two or three subscriptions, you will earn 1,500 points. And if you use four subscriptions, you will earn 2,000 points. You can see the list of subscriptions that are included. And in our example, I added Spotify and YouTube Premium to my account and Netflix and Showmax to my wife's account so that we both earn the 1,500 points. Next is the cash at till spent subcategory. This one is rather simple. If you need to withdraw cash, then only do it at the till at checkers, not an ATM, and you will receive an easy 1000 points. The next subcategory, FNB Fusion or credit card usage is also rather straightforward. All you need to do is ensure that you use your Fusion or credit card for more than 75% of both your online and your in-store purchases, and you will get another 1000 extra points. We use our credit card when buying everything, and then we just make sure to pay off our balance at the end of the month, which not only gives us the e-box points, but it also helps to build up a healthy credit score. All right, so we are now already on 13,000 points, which I believe everyone should be able to score. But I just want to give you some additional options in case you don't 
for example, use subscriptions or a FNB Connect SIM. Under the safe category, if you grow your savings account by more than 1,250 Rand per month, you will score another 500 points. In order to set this up, go to Menu, Transfers, Schedule Transfers, click on Add, choose your FNB Premier Check or Fusion account under From and your savings account under To, enter the amount which should be at least 1,250 Rand, enter the reference, scheduled transfer name, frequency, start date and expiry date and click on continue. Just note that if your monthly withdrawals from your savings account exceed the value of your monthly deposits, you will not receive these 500 points, so just keep that in mind as well. Under the family category, if your spouse has an active FNB Premier account, you both get an extra 1000 points. Just make sure to add them by clicking on menu, my profile, my family and add the details. FNB has a pretty sweet deal for spouse or partners where they will get a 50% discount on their banking fees. So this is really something to consider if you have that option. The same applies if you have a child because if you have a linked FNB Y transaction account or a linked FNB savings account for children under 18 years and you add at least 200 Rand per month to it, you will get another 1000 points. So yeah, by following these steps, you will easily reach more than 14,000 points, which will qualify you for all the juicy benefits of being level 5 on ebooks. There are many other categories that you can also earn some points, so take some time to carefully read through all of them and see which ones are applicable to you. My wife and I usually sit down once near the end of the month just to go through each category in order to make sure that we did everything we needed in order to qualify for level 5 and this usually takes us only about 10 minutes of our time. And considering the fact that we made a combined total of 1901 Rand from the FNB eBox Rewards program in August, this is a pretty good return on time investment, I'd say. Now if you want to see our exact strategy on how we actually earn this much, then go make sure to check out this video. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys found any value in this video, then please make sure to shop on that like button so that the YouTube algorithm can push this video to more people. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have any questions. And with that said, you must all have a lucky day. Cheers.